Hello friends, I'm Chi. Today I'll be talking about the senatorial document, who can apply, who are the people qualified for it, okay? In case you are here for the first time, please why don't you subscribe because here I drop daily tips, okay, that can help we all foreigners here in Europe and in Italy also as well. Okay, thanks to all my subscribers. Remember to share to friends on WhatsApp and Facebook so that they will also learn from this. Okay, first of all, from the start, foreigners who have been here you know and have done the fingerprinting thing at Questora and has been here before March 8 by virtue of declaration of presence okay um, also in possession of a document of starting date from a public body you know can also apply provided that they have been here they have never left since that time okay before that match, they have never left Italy to another country. They can also apply in their website, which I'll be dropping the link in the description box so that they can go check it out. From there, uh, it, it, they said it can be, this is the only way they can apply through that link, okay? So you go check that link out. Today, you can start the application from 7 a.m., which will terminate till 10 p.m., okay? So if you're an asylum seeker who also came in by that time, you know you're wondering now okay I came in that time can I also apply for this thing are you working in any of the sector this is what you should ask yourself in the sectors they mentioned the agricultural and uh, domestic um, sec sectors okay so you can ask your lawyer you know you can check out for a lawyer who can advise you better whether you can apply or not also you can also go to Questora also at immigration that is Questora to find out if you are eligible to apply if you came in before March 8 you know from Libya uh -huh, or through airline you know you can go to Questora and check out that okay all right then also employers of labor like Italian citizens or citizens from a um, European member state okay or those in possession of a long term you know document like Carta di Soggiorno uh, who are foreigners you know that have the employment employers of labor can also declare the presence of irregular work contract maybe they employ people in their farm in their you know all this um, domestic work thing you know so they also can do that application for these people through the imps portal you know you know that link you know www.imps.it they can apply for their people so if you uh, working for your capo in any of those sectors mentioned you can tell your capo hey I heard that you know you guys can help us apply through this link so beg them please tell them that you are willing to pay the 500 euro fee you know they said that you guys should pay in that case they will be willing to do that because most of them are dodging it you know they don't really want to pay so convince them that you will do the payment okay then what about those that their sojourner has expired yeah not all people that their sojourner have expired can really apply. It is only for those that their sojourner have expired since um, from October 31st, 2019 and has been here without leaving until that time, you know, uh, before March 8th. They have been here present. They have never left Italy. So those of you who are away since, you know, uh, let's say you have been away, but your sojourner expired at 31st of uh, October. You are not eligible because you have not been here. So it's only for those who have been here since October until that March 8th when the law was made. Can now go to Questora, provided that that sojourner has not been converted to any other permit or renewed. You know, they can go to Questora and demand for the six months permit. Okay, the six months permit, provided that they can use it to go search for a job within that period. If they find a job, then they can convert that permit to a working um work permit okay and also what do they really need to apply you will be needing your passport or an identification document from your embassy okay whether it's nationalita um anything that can identify that you are from that particular country will be welcome because a lot of people will be missing out in this case because not everybody have this particular um, passport or identification team provided that also you know that embassies are closed so how can some of them even get it uh, but those of you who are in possession of it you can go straight and apply at Questora they will give it to you this six months permit okay and um, 
because they assume that for you to have documents since then it means that you have already gone to the embassy to get one or two documents from them you know whether passport or nationality so i believe that's why they made this kind of law for this kind of people remember you'll be paying the sum of 130 euro you know and also 30 euro for the proce processing of the application remember it is also subject to investigation they will kind of um investigate it to know whether you are really qualified whether you are really working in any of the sector mentioned remember uh if your document have expired since that 31st of october 2019 remember that for you to be eligible it should be that you have worked in any of the sector whether before maybe last year last two years you must have worked in any of the sector before okay for you to be eligible sectors like the agricultural sector breeding zoo tech uh, fishery aquatic and other related um things relating to this okay relating to agriculture you must have worked in any of this sector also uh, domestic workers like badante those who are helping uh, say house cleaners you know also carers of sick people you know assistance like whether to themselves or to any member of their family whether they are living with them or not these are the sectors i'm talking about okay now this is it so this fee you have to pay 130 euro please remember so uh, for those their documents have expired two years ago three years ago you are not included it's only from that October 31st people that are included in this thing all right application is ongoing so in case you are confused you can meet your lawyer for clearer um, um, explanation what about those that their case is on um, appeal yeah if your case is on appeal you can also apply but you have to think does it worth it remember i made a video about that if you can apply if your case is an appeal so you can go check that video out to see uh whether you are much convinced to do it or not okay so you can go meet your lawyer to counsel the appeal the lawyer knows how to talk it out with the judge uh-huh so when the appeal is cancelled then the lawyer can help you apply for this senatorial document but make sure that the kind of job you have is a is a job that can stand the test of time like a permanent job you know or maybe a work a job of like two years contract three years four years in that case you are sure that um, uh, the document will favor you because if the job is just for like three months uh, all these kind of jobs that terminates within six months temporary jobs it will not really favor you because what if that job stops and you couldn't find uh, any other one so you see you're back to zero so please this is a temporal document remember this is a temporal document so guys this is it basically so do the needful registration application is ongoing now start it starts from 7 a.m which will terminate by 10 p.m at night i'm chi signing out one love to you all okay wish you the best Remember to share to friends on WhatsApp, Facebook. Tell me what you think in the comment section. I'll be willing to reply you as soon as possible. Remember to subscribe. Press the bell. Press the bell. Press the bell. Ciao. Hold on, please. Remember, I forgot to tell you that you can also go to uh, these um, labor associations like um, ANOLF, A-N-O-L-F, ACLI, A-C-L-I, or the U-I-L. These people can help you to... Uh, fill the forms you know online also you know remember i'll be dropping the link in the description box there you see a lot of categories the companies so you will check which of the company there belongs to you 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 work in you know there are a lot of them there so identify the one that you are in and then they will then apply it for you okay online also you can also i think some of the forms should be in the post office also because they are also you can make some payment like the 30 euro uh, fee you know it's I think it's the F24 form you have to use to pay that okay so go check out also in the post office if the form is available there also remember you can also go direct to Questora and make a lot of inquiries about how to go about it where to do it and the rest of them or your lawyer also as well they know the law much better okay remember that your datore de, dat, your datore de lavoro must be a citizen or citizen of a um, member state in the European Union or a foreigner who is having the long um, stay document that is maybe carta I think so and if you are working in a company entity or naturalized person you're working for that kind of people 
um, they must um, have at least an annual income of 30,000 euro, nothing less than that for them to be able to apply for you. But if you are working also uh, for a person, you know, as a house cleaner, assistant, you know, that's kind of badante thing, domestic workers, the person should be having at least a minimum of 20,000 euro, you know, minimum. If not, the person cannot really apply for you because the person doesn't have the enough income to do that. Okay, but if you're working for a single person, maybe a unit of a family where one person is having income, uh, the person should be in possession of at least 27,000 euro thereabout to be able to apply for you. Okay, it could be from their previous tax return or present one. So it depends on which of them they'll be having. So please friends, that is it basically. Remember the 500 fee, okay? For those of you working in the agricultural sector, domestic workers, okay? Also <clears throat> for single people who their surgery of expire, remember it's 130 euro and the 30 euro for the processing fee. All right, remember, this is the time you have to know whether some contracts will not be valid actually, but who knows? Just go apply. Good luck. Ciao.